Hello Leos, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Leos this week? That was a lot of cards. Two of Pentacles, multitasking, juggling, doing two things at once. Um, I don't know why I feel like there's a playful energy around this. So whatever it is you're doing, um, instead of feeling overwhelmed by having a lot going on, you're kind of enjoying it or you're making a game out of it. So, I don't know, maybe there's kids involved or something. If like one of your responsibilities this week is babysitting or you have kids of your own, you're, you're into, you're somehow working with it. You're working with whatever. Whatever it is you're juggling, you're not juggling so much as you're really making it work. Death card and the Fool just came out. I love the Death card. It's all about rebirth. The Fool card is all about a new journey. And the Eight of Pentacles. There you go, work. I feel like whatever it is you're doing for work, um, your career, it's kind of taking off. Um, with your Sensing this coming or not, with the full card, a journey's beginning and it could be completely different to anything you've ever done. But it's very much, I don't know why I keep getting it's worth it, it's worth it. So, it's worth it, Leo, whatever it is. If it's different, if it's out of your comfort zone, which it most likely is with the full card, he's a little bit nervous because he's going into like uncharted territory. Um, make sure you do it anyway, even if you're nervous, especially if you're nervous, because there's something on the other side of your fear here. I'll clarify these cards. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Don't worry, if you've got a lot on your plate this week, you're going to be fine. Nine of Swords, there's a fear here. So maybe in the past, whenever you had to, um, juggle multiple priorities, you, like, didn't? You didn't? like succeed or whatever you're setting out to do whatever it is you're doing this time don't worry you're gonna if you look at this with a playful attitude look at it lightheartedly you're gonna just like s smoothly sail through whatever it is you were setting out to do this week the moon with the death card there's also a rebirth a glow up or um birthing something new that you either are keeping on the down low keeping it secret or it's being kept secret from you with the moon card. You only ever see half of the moon. Some of you uh, have been working on something, but not, I don't know why I'm getting something about a mother. You've not told your mother. <laughs> really random. Um, but there's something where you haven't told someone very important to you. There's just a rebirth here. Um, it could be anything. It could be your health. It could be like a physical appearance thing that you're changing, but whatever it is, it's no one's business but yours, but it just seems as if it's something... The moon can be deep hidden emotions, so maybe it's something kept very close to your chest that you really care about and you don't want to tell others about that you've kind of changed. With the death card, it's just like better. It's rebirth. You're doing better. But it's hidden. Like maybe you can't even word this to someone, you can't articulate, you can't communicate how much better you're doing because they didn't know that you weren't doing good or something, but you are doing better. Clarify the Fool. The Seven of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Swords is um sometimes sneaky. People read that as like a thief card, but you don't know if she's stealing those swords or if they're hers already and, or they're someone else's and she's helping get them back. Um, it's just, it's kind of a card of just looking dodgy. Like someone's been caught in the act, but they weren't even in the act. Like they weren't doing anything wrong, but it looks like a bit uncertain. With the Queen of Pentacles, you might have been very uncertain about your finances, your career your money for a very long time and then that's the rebirth is oh it's doing better it's about to be doing very well because with the full card i feel as if you're going down a new career route it's completely different in terms of how much you are going to be earning and 
And it's funny because then we move into the Eight of Pentacles, which is booked and busy. Temperance. Balancing out. If you have been in a time of lack, you're now getting your time of, like, abundance. It's a long time coming. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is the Abundance card. Now, it's not the Ten of Pentacles, which would be more suited to what I was telling you with the Eight of Pentacles. But Ten of Cups is better than the Ten of Pentacles, in my opinion, because it's more about feelings. It's more about how you're doing emotionally. Very much a positive card to have. The most positive of cards, apart from the sun, in my opinion. It's very much this feeling of all the pieces of the puzzle, you have them. Everything's intact. Everything's going as it should. Eight of Pentacles here, it's to do with your work. Your work is bringing you happiness. There's something, there's a key that your work is bringing. Your work is bringing a key to happiness for you um, in some way. Like it's, if there was something lacking in your life, some of you thought it was money, even though you had just enough and you still weren't happy. You thought, oh, you have more money, you'll be happy. But it's not the case. There's something here where it's your work. It's what you're doing, not how much you're earning. However, it's all... I don't know why I'm getting summarise. Summarise. Summer eyes? Summarise? Sunrise? I don't know what, the, what that's trying to come through. Two of cups, four of wands. There's a new foundation beginning in your life. There's something new. Ten, like, look at the ten of cups. Like, I just feel as if this is new to you. Maybe you've recently moved in with someone. Maybe you have... There's just... I can't explain. Two of cups, soulmate, union. There could be a new soulmate coming to your life. Could be a baby, right? My sister's about to have a baby. She's a Leo. There's something here where Four of Wands, like there's a new chapter beginning. Four of Wands is a new firm foundation of something you haven't had before. Whether that be moving into a new home, but it's your own one. If you've never owned your own home or apartment or something, a place to call home. It's just something new about it. Maybe you're owning a piece of land. I don't know what it is, but it's like the first time you felt this solid. I really like it. I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Sorry if it's short. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tales Harry Tuesdays.